This is going to be a deep dive into the concept of visibility, also known as position, in Wordly mapping. When you look at a regular map and you try to use it to determine your position, you're thinking in terms of where you are relative to an anchor, usually true north. And in order to help with that, you're often thinking about the compass and north, south, east, west kind of directions. In Wardley mapping, things work just a little bit differently. Position is all about visibility to the user. The user is our anchor as opposed to something like True North. And instead of thinking about north, south, east, and west, we're really thinking about where a component sits in the value chain, how many other components are between it and the user, and ultimately how much the user can see and care about the component. So instead of thinking about whether a component is two inches too high or an inch too low, it's the dependency relationships in the value chain that really determine where a component ends up, vertically speaking. Simon Wardley himself has described the y-axis as something of a crutch. It's really the value chain that stands on its own. It's good to know that the components that are near to the user are more visible to them, but the components that are farther away, they just don't care about. That actually tells you how to treat them too. Like you wouldn't want to sell a product based on features that are lower in the value chain because the user just doesn't care. But if there's something very visible and very near the user, then you should take some time to make sure that they see the right parts of it and see it in the right way. Let's look at visibility through the lens of a medical patient who is in need of emergency care. The most visible components to them are going to be things like how they get to a treatment center, so transport, then the treatment itself. So what is it going to be like to be treated at this treatment center? We know from thinking about the value chain that there's probably more going on behind the scenes, more underlying processes that are supporting those high-level components. So we know triage is probably happening, examination, diagnosis, and underneath all that, it's all based on deep medical knowledge that's being employed by doctors and nurses. So just based on how the value chain shapes up, Without even worrying about this thing along the left-hand side, this label of visible and invisible, we already know that medical knowledge is so far down the chain of needs that it's pretty well removed from anything that's top of mind for the medical patient. And so if we start telling them all the medical jargon, if we tell them what triage class they were, and even the details of the exam and the diagnosis could just be overwhelming. They just want treatment. And so we have to be careful about how we go about each of those things as a result of how visible the component is to the patient.